What's going on guys? John Liska here back at it again with another video. Uh, today is chest day. Probably America's favorite workout day, I would say. International chest day, Monday. There's even a holiday for it. Anyways, <laughs> first first workout, um, we start off with bench press. I always start with bench press just because it's, it's the foundation. I mean, that's where like everybody works out, is right on the bench press. So, started there. Uh, we did five sets of eight, so we went a little bit heavier today. Um, the weight that I worked up to for myself was 225. Uh, that's just the weight that I can manage to get eight, eight to 10 reps for five sets. Uh, so whatever weight you can do for five sets for eight to ten reps, choose that. Whatever it is. I don't care if it's 100 pounds, if it's 5 pounds, or if it's 315 pounds. Whatever it takes, do that. Then uh, in between each set, only take one minute throughout this entire workout. Okay, we're going to try to push through this pretty quick. So from bench press, we went over to incline dumbbell press. Uh, there. I don't like to go on a super high incline. We're still doing uh, the five sets of uh, eight to 10 reps and still one minute between each set. Uh, from there, we moved on to the, well, we don't have a decline bench in our, in our gym, in our facility. And me personally, I don't like the decline bench. I can't feel, or for me personally, I, I can't get a good chest contraction out of it. So we have a hammer strength uh, decline machine. So on there, we're just working, doing the same thing. Five sets of eight to 10 reps, uh, really making sure that we're squeezing the chest, getting a good contraction out of the chest. Then from there, we went on to a, another machine that's hammer strength as well. And I, I take this one, it's a, a neutral, I guess it would be a flat bench for hammer strength. But I take the seat and I lower all the way down. That way when I'm pushing, it's almost turning into an incline. You'll see me at the end, it'll come up. So it's almost hitting like the top of my chest. Just try to build the top of it. Um, that one, same thing, five sets, 10 reps, uh, eight to 10. And remember, still just one minute between each set throughout this entire workout. It should go pretty quickly. You should have a huge pump afterwards. Uh, and then the finisher, uh, I always finish my chest workout with this, it's just a personal preference, uh, but it's the cable flies. And on this we did five sets, and we're actually doing 15 to 20 reps. Okay, so when we're coming in on a fly, um, when you're coming down, you're gonna squeeze with your chest. Try to think about bringing your elbows to each other, not your hands so much, because I can bring my hands all the way to here, or here, and I'm not squeezing my chest at all. Think about bringing your elbows to each other and really contracting the chest. And when you come back, don't go wide like this. You're gonna put too much pressure on your shoulders. Bend your elbows almost to a 90 degree angle and then come back again with your elbows. Anyways, check it out. Do the workout. Let me know what you think. Get a good pump. International Chest Day. We're out of here. 